Hello everyone and welcome to this video on immunoprecipitation. Today we will answer the question, what is immunoprecipitation? We will take a look at the classic IP as well as co-IP and chromatin immunoprecipitation. Please note that if you want to download these slides as well as a PDF summary explaining the whole method in detail, you can download these documents if you support me on Patreon. You can find a link in the description below. So what is immunoprecipitation? It is a biochemistry method used to isolate a protein of interest from a mixture containing many different proteins. The technique requires beads loaded with antibodies which are designed to target your protein of interest. Different types of immunoprecipitation exist, the classic IP, co-IP and CHIP. Let's take a closer look at these three methods. In the classic immunoprecipitation, the goal is to isolate a protein of interest from a mixture containing many different proteins. Imagine we want to take out the green proteins. So we start by designing an antibody to target this green protein. These antibodies are fixed to a peat, which is usually a agarose or magnetic peat. This complex is then added to the lysates and we, we take out the beads, all the proteins will have been fixed to the antibodies and we have isolated our proteins. So to recap, the beat and antibody are designed to target the protein of interest and are put together. The beat antibody complex is added to the lysate containing many different proteins. And when the beat is isolated, you will have taken out all your protein of interest. This is an easy way to isolate a protein from a mixture containing many different proteins. Let's now take a look at CoIP. This method is very similar to the classic IP, but now imagine that your green protein is part of a protein complex or that your green protein has a protein-protein interaction with the blue protein. In CoIP, we can identify protein-protein interactions or protein complexes. We perform the classic IP experiment and when we're finished, we might have taken along some protein interactors like these blue protein which interact with the green protein. Note, however, that this can be a very tricky experiment and that we need a strong interaction between the protein interactors for this experiment to work. You can also see that not all green protein have taken along a blue protein. Let's take a look at the chromatin immunoprecipitation. This method is very similar to the IP and co-IP, but now imagine that your protein of interest binds to DNA. This can be the case if your protein is a transcription factor or a histone. The goal of chromatin immunoprecipitation is to immunoprecipitate the protein which is still bound to DNA. This can be obtained if you first cut the DNA into tiny pieces and then perform the immunoprecipitation experiments. When finished, we have taken out the proteins which are still bound to DNA. Now we can proceed with DNA sequencing and we have identified the region of DNA in the genome where your protein binds to. This can be very useful to identify which genes are regulated by a certain transcription factor. So to summarize, immunoprecipitation is a biochemistry method used to isolate a protein of interest from a mixture containing many different proteins. Different types of IP exist, the reg regular IP, core IP, and chip. Core IP identifies protein-protein interactors and CHIP identifies the protein DNA binding spots. Please note that you can download the full PDF as well as the slides if you support me on Patreon. I hope this video was helpful. 
please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching.